hi to all uh, in this video we will discuss how to work with the sqlite database <coughs> so here we are going to discuss a small example how to work with the sqlite database so let us begin so i am creating project simple sqlite database and package name i am giving com.rom and i am creating the project empty activity and finishing it and in this example we are going to check how to create database and how to create a table and how to insert the records and how to retrieve them from the database here in this example we are going to check it out and coming to the android we are using the database called sqlite database so already we are having sqlite library as a open source from the internet so we are using it in android at the same time in iphone development also we are having two databases that are available for the uh, database development in the iPhone applications. One is Core Data, another one is SQLite database. So there also we can use the SQLite database in the iPhone application development. But there is some difficulties should be there between uh, Android and iPhone. So now let us start how to work with the SQLite database in Android. Uh, and this is a simple example. In the coming days we are going to discuss what is the standard way we are writing the program regarding SQLite database in the industry. In the coming videos we will discuss clearly and this is a simple example so first of all here we need to get the reference for the SQLite database SQLite database database equal to and in the activity class we have a method called open or create database method so we need to call this method now we'll see uh, fine so this method is going to return the sqlite database object that's why we are referring to the sqlite database class so in this method if you observe the first parameter first parameter is a string name here in this first parameter we need to pass the value that is the database name okay so we need to create, see, coming to the database application, the database development, first we need to create a database. Next, in the database, we are going to create a, uh, one or multiple tables. And in the tables, we are going to insert the data and retrieve the data from the tables. Now. So here we need to pass the name for the database. So just I am saying that ramsdb.db. Next, mode. Coming to the second parameter, int mode. Int mode in the sense, it is going to tell you clearly who can actually access the database now so i'm going to say mode underscore private me only and the third parameter we are not using so i'm passing it as a null value now remember that whenever you are working with the databases right first we need to open the database and we are going to perform the db operations and finally we need to close the database object now so that's why i'm saying uh, you'll see open or create database so in this program particularly separately we need not to open the database why because this line itself it's going to open the database so whenever you execute this line what is going to happen simple if you are executing this application first time it is going to create database with this name and the next time onwards whenever you are opening this application it's going to open the database named ramsdb.db there is a story here now so next we need to create a table so with this statement it's going to create a database now next thing is we need to create a table so in the sql whenever you want to create a tables or delete the tables or update or if you want to insert the data we need to write a sql statements now those statements we are going to call as a commands so whenever you want to write a commands sql commands in android so in the sql database class we have a one method available that is execute sql method so i'm calling it now finally we are uh, able to insert the data now so let us check it out how to pull the data from the database 
so again in the database class we have a method raw query method to get the data from the database that means to execute the queries now the first parameter is string sql so i'm writing select star from table name sample table and next parameter we are not using just we have passed the null value and next whenever you are querying the data from the database in the sql database you will see it is written in the cursor object so we are taking uh, sorry cursor and cursor equal so next from the cursor we need to get the data how we are going to get the data first we need to take care of the cursor position so i'm moving the cursor to the first see without taking care of the cursor position so cursor should be there in one position like cursor move to first or any in particular position if the cursor is not there in any position and you are directly getting the data from the cursor it's going to give you the cursor index out of bound exception so and from the cursor we need to get the data so i'm getting the name so string name equal to and from the cursor we have a method get string method so we need to pass the index number of the column now so we know clearly we have a two columns one is name and location it's going to take the index numbers name is 0 and the location is 1 so here i'm passing 0 the same time string location equal to cursor dot get string of 1 and this one we can display in the activity so just i'm taking one text view save it and uh, i'm calling here the text view reference text view text view equal to text view find you by id r dot id dot text view one and simply we can append the data to the text view text view dot set text of name concatenation and this one is location let us execute this program see we got the data from the database so this is a, a simple sql database example so using this execute sql methods you can write the commands and using this raw query methods you can write the see using this raw query methods you can write the queries to get the data from sql database whatever where conditions selection arguments and everything you can write under this sql uh, sql statement that is a raw query method here you can write the sql statement thanks for watching this video